Well, hey guys, listen, I just got through with work and I ran out here. I've only got a little bit of time for the sunlight. I was able to get hooked up at the store, Dynamic Disc. Ben saved one of these for me and I went and got an uplink because I hadn't done any understable discs. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a few holes with my trusty Cookie Monster Atlas that's been beat up. It's a nice turn disc. We're gonna see how it falls out. So anyway, I don't know how many holes I'm gonna get, but we're gonna go out and play. Sorry about the microphone, forgot it. I was in a hurry, a little scatterbrain. Uh, let's go see what we can do. We got Rob and Molly up there. We got a headwind, so I'm gonna have to put these on hyzer. Boy, that's got a good flip up on that one. It's a lot more understable than my cookie monster. Straight out of the box, I love that. I wanted, but boy, that ricochet put me down in the road. Boy, it's just got a nice subtle slide. All right, it's slopey. I'm just gonna have to do a full hand out. I'm gonna hold on to my disc. Hopefully give you a look. I'm not expecting miracles from that. Boy, you really wanna to get to the right of this pine tree. Makes all the difference in the world. Yep. That's the thing, if you press on that forehand, it's gonna torque over. You gotta throw that with even more hyzer. Not a bad thing, you just gotta know where that flip over point is. But then on a nice tunnel shot forehand, that's gonna be great. Well, I'm just going to go right through here, but I can trust it not to dive quite as much and then die at the end when it gets near the basket. Again, I'm going to have to crank these on hyzer. Cookie Monster, not so much as the upright. It still popped up in the road, but it it has a slow flip up. And then it just rode. I was expecting a little more flip up earlier on.
Well, yeah, I got good distance. Carried on past the basket and put me in a crappy spot by this tree. Didn't get the height I wanted on that. This is where no one and being comfortable with your disc makes a big difference. I know I could trust that cookie monster. At least I hit a tree at the end. Boy, it's not as flippy as I was telling you. Boy, I forgot to bring my towel. That's lovely. There's a basket. There it is. Guys, I hurt my shoulder pretty good yesterday throwing those tomahawks, those thumbers, from the deflector thing. My shoulder had not been giving me trouble since surgery. I think I did too much. I think it goes to the left of that tree, but that was a nice ride. All right. Upwind, this is the shot I was thinking about, you four. Nope, going in the wood. No, it fought out. But yeah, I needed to, it's over flip. I needed to put it more on hyzer so it'd hold out longer, flip up straight and then glide. I can't hit you! That's why understable with this are great in the woods because you can throw more on hyzer and be more on a line. Gives you a little more confidence going through them.
Oh gosh. I totally missed that limb. I mean, I hit it, I didn't see it. Hey Alan, you mind if I tee off of the lungs? What? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the long one, so. What's up, Montana? How you doing, girl? Hey. Oh, good to see you. Thank you, girl. gonna be so close to that's gonna be good what's up Jonathan I knew I felt the presence behind me and we're here now I'm trying out the uplink I hadn't I hadn't done any understable mid-ranges so I'm comparing it with the cookie monster what Hey, say hey, guys. I mean, for the uh, eight people that watch this, tell your name. John Haley. PDJ number, if you Food want. Store. Yeah. 108 381. Oh, my gosh. Jeff Nichols. <laughs> yeah. No glad. Tristan Chandler. Hey, guys. I'll get out of your way, hopefully. First mid ranges. first. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry. All right, not bad, not bad. I'll take that. Clear! What's funny, mentally, I think more understable. I think it's from Ultimate and all that. Uh, I prefer understable. I'm just gonna go for the short basket here. By that I meant that tree that I hit every time. Or that tree. Let's face it, we hit all these trees. All right, I'm gonna change it up from here. I'm gonna try approach shots to the long basket. Even though I was going for that one, I'm now switching. I mentioned our wind advisories around here today, so this audio is probably gonna suck. Terrible day to forget microphones. Cookie Monster, you were right under the basket. Okay, roll away.
I was going for the middle basket, but that one, maybe I'll change. If I don't tell you, I went to the left. No, I'm gonna go to the middle basket again. Cause that's this shot right here. It's exactly what I wanted. It acted exactly how I thought it would. Oh, I had to have hit some trees because I was tracking. <laughs> Cookie monster. The sunlight. Huh. If I set it up, I'll miss it. <laughs> Look at that. Got a little gap. Oh, it's not that turny. This hole, when I, I do a turnover shot, but I want something that kind of fights back a little bit so it, it rides straight here. This, the uplink did great turning the corner, but it kept going a little bit to the right. I've been telling people I'm gonna go in that tube one of these days back there behind the basket. I thought that had a shot. <laughs> I don't think it was going in, but it was gonna brush by the basket. It gave me a little glimmer there for a second. That's a good way to finish. Hey guys, I really like the Alpine. Of course, to be honest, I like almost every disc out there. Once you learn its characteristics, you can use it for a lot of different shots. Uh, the MVP line is great, but it's not the only one out there. Uh, what I suggest is get out there and play with this and learn what they're doing and figure out how you play. And uh, that'll help you decide what disc you need. So anyway, I tend to be a little bit more understable, so I really had fun with that. But you may like a lot more overstable. So, Great disc, it goes right in the line with everything else, but it's nice that you can have preset discs that you really don't have to cycle through. If you need a turnover disc, grab you an uplink. If you need a straight flyer, go with the hex. If you need a meat hook, you could go with the... Uh... I, can't, I can't remember the name, hold on. Uh, deflector. <laughs> I need some food. Uh, anyway, you can choose that and, and they're already you already got this in that line that you can grab and hopefully go out and play well so anyway i need some food i'm going to stop babbling i will talk to you later thanks so much for going around with me
Okay, folks, while I'm here, I'm gonna do a couple sample throws to show you the difference between these two. You know, when I started this, I thought this was a lot flippier than it was. It's a pretty straight flyer. I mean, it's a flipper, but not real hard. This one is definitely flippy. And so I'm gonna throw a few of those to let you see how they fly, just to give you a base idea of what's going on out on the course. Okay, I'm gonna, this first one, I'm gonna throw it straight at the basket as if I'm going for the, uh, the band on top of the basket. It's a straight fly. I don't know why I thought that was flippy. It hasn't been in my bag lately, and it's been sitting with some other discs. Could have gotten squished back down to flatter. Who knows? Okay, I'm all right at right at the band. Now if I push that out here, and it's still picked up. I am noticing it goes farther than the uh, than the atlas. It pops up and just goes so we'll do that again okay now i'm going to try a little bit of a hydra flip just kind of throw it out to the right and see if i can cruise it back around there see how much they flip up it tried to, it tried to pick up it was a nice smooth curve around it, it didn't crash just kind of slid around. Let's see if this one pops up more. Yep, definitely you saw it pop up and just held the line. That's a nice shot. Just, you gotta take that into account and put it on even on more hyzer if you wanna get it to curl around and make it to the basket. <laughs> I'm better now. Pull that one across. With that flip over, it just picks up and carries. I'm launching it way past the basket. I thought it was gonna flip right. I thought it was tracking and it just faded out a little bit. I'm having a down tempo a little on that disc because it's just popping up and carrying way longer. Crazy. 